The topic of this recording is two articles from Sadhu Sundar Singh. In my hands I have the last letter written by Sadhu Sundar Singh, dated April the 18th, 1929. I also have the article signed by him, which is called What the Bible is to Me, which he wrote for the Bible Society. My name is Peter John Parisis, also known as Brian Edmund Dean, from Linden, Michigan, in the United States of America. The first article being read, in his handwriting, has letterhead, and I will spell it, S-U-B-A-T-H-U, comma, Simla Hills. Everything else is handwritten. 18 period 4 period 29. My reverend friend, I am leaving today for Tibet. I know the dangers and difficulties of this journey, but I must try my best to do my duty according to my calling. Acts chapter 20 verse 24. Footnote. He does not include the verse, but I shall read it from Young's literal translation. Acts 20, verse 24, quote, But I make account of none of these, neither do I count my life precious to myself, so that I finish my course with joy and the ministration that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify fully the good news of the grace of God, unquote. And a footnote. Kindly remember me in your prayers. I hope to be back, capital D period, capital B period, after two or three months, and will write you as soon as I return here. I trust you are all keeping well. With best wishes and love to you all, your affectionately, Sundar Singh. The second article was written for the Bible Society, typewritten, and... Signed by Sundar Singh, titled, What the Bible is to Me. The Bible is the book of books, because it is the book of God. It is my guide and light and food for my soul. Experience has shown and proved the fact that there is no other book in the world besides this, which can meet the spiritual needs of men. It is now about a quarter of a century since this precious book introduced me to its author, and all this time, I have found my Savior to be exactly the same as recorded in this book. He has been to me all that we read concerning him there. Lang language difficulties and textual criticism, etc., have not hidden its truths, nor hindered in the least its life-giving influence in my heart because of these words, quote, they are spirit and they are life, unquote. In reading the Bible, I have found such untold and eternal wealth of riches, of which I never thought or dreamed before, and now passing on its message to others and sharing it with them, its blessing to me and to them continually increases. People can see the book and its readers, but its wonderful unseen power and force of attraction are only known by those who read it sincerely and prayerfully just as the magnet and needle can be seen, but the magnet force which draws the needle to itself is hidden and unseen and is not visible by telescope nor microscope. So the unseen power of this word of God draws sinners like me to the Savior. Further, just as the power of attraction in the magnet does not depend on its acceptance or denial by people, so this hidden drawing power of the Bible exist and is always present whether people believe it or not. It makes no difference whatever so much so that even many non-Christians have somehow or other felt its power. For instance, Hindus and Mohammedans in India often forbid their people to read the Bible, lest they be drawn away by its power and become Christians as many have already become. Many have sacrificed their lives for this book and for him of whom it tells because he first gave his life for all. A murderer is put to death. His life is taken. 
because he took another's life. But what about him who instead of taking life gave his own? It demands that because he gave his life for us, so now we should be ready to give and sacrifice our lives for him and in his name for others. That is why innumerable men and women have gladly given and are giving their lives in his service in order to bring others to him. If I had not had this book, which is God-given, how should I have ever known the infinite love of God, which was revealed on the cross? I thank and praise him who gave his word to me through the prophets and apostles and preserved it for us. I shall ever be thankful to the British and Foreign Bible Society who translated and made it possible for me to get this treasure in my own language. May God grant that many more like me will receive eternal life from the living Savior by sending this precious book. Amen. Sundar Singh